So friends, welcome to the rotator cuff repair workshop. So in this workshop, we will be demonstrating about doing rotator cuff surgeries from Arthrex instrument and set. Now Arthrex has got a very wide portfolio regarding rotator cuff repair and we will be demonstrating all the anchor options uh, and the instrumentation options that we have to do the surgeries for rotator cuff repair. So if we see about the anchors, you can just focus here. Uh, if you see about anchors, Arthrex has got a very wide range of uh, anchors uh, ranging from metallic anchors to uh, biocomposite anchors to peak anchors and then they have a knotless options available as well. So this range is basically called as a corkscrew range and corkscrew is basically, uh, I'll say it is one of our, our preferred anchors as far as the rotator cuff repair is uh, concerned. So if you are using a first generation single row technique or if you are using a double row technique by regular anchors or the middle row of the double uh, uh, row technique, we will be using the corkscrew anchors for the medial row. Now, if you can appreciate, this anchor is basically called as a corkscrew and this is uh, available in multiple sizes. So this is a 5.5 mm option. And if the patient is osteoporotic, you have a 6.5 millimeter options as well. So if the patient is osteoporotic and the smaller anchor pulls out, you have an option of putting a bigger anchor here. So this is a 6.5 mm anchor and this is a 5.5 mm anchor. Now, if you can appreciate uh, a very important phenomenon in this anchor is when you open it, it basically does not have any eyelet. So when we open the anchor, there is no eyelet. So the hinge or the, uh, the, the wire is loaded on the tip of the anchor. Now this is a very important feature of this anchor and this is one of the feature which makes the pull out strength of this particular corkscrew anchor much better than any anchor who, which has an eyelet. So at present we are recommending anchors which do not have an eyelet and which have this sort of a female sort of attachment. So this basically attachment is better because you will have a purchase from the cancellous bone as well as the cortical bone. So this is one of the preferred options if you are using a metal anchor. So if you are using a metal anchor, avoid the anchor with an eyelet and we are recommending a strongly anchor without an eyelet and which has a wire which is coiled up up to the base of the anchor. So this is about the metallic anchor and you can use this anchor. Now similarly we have options of non-metallic anchor as well. So we have again an option of 4.5 and 5.5 mm anchors. Now these corkscrew anchors are available in biocomposite as well as a peak material. So this one if you can appreciate is a peak material soy block. 5.5 and this is a biocomposite material soy block and this is 4.5 mm. So these are different different variations. Also you have a double loaded and triple loaded options available for, for all the anchors. So if you are, uh, if you are uh, comfortable you can use a triple loaded anchor as well. Using a triple loaded anchor is good but you need to be very vigilant with the suture management because there are lots of anchors a lot of sutures inside the shoulder. Now coming to the lateral row portfolio. So this is the lateral row portfolio. Uh, from uh, Arthrex. So this comes in the swive lock range and in swive lock we have an options of 5.5 uh, mm uh, swive lock, 4.75 mm swive lock and this is also again available in biocomposite as well as a peak material. And then we have an option of a metallic tip also. If there is a metallic tip it becomes a self punching uh, swive lock. If it is a non-metallic tip you need to prepare with the awl. So this is the awl which we use. And this all we can appreciate there are two marks. The first mark is for the FT. This is for the swipe uh, for the corkscrew insertion. And the second mark is for the SL that is for the swive lock insertion. So this is the anchor and this is basically the inserter which we use for the Arthrex anchor. So this is a universal anchor inserter. You can use it for corkscrew, bio, peak and swive lock. FT is for the corkscrew and SL is for the swine lock, so it's universal inserter. Uh, sometimes if you are using a, a speed bridge set, you will be provided with a disposable inserter. So that is a plastic inserter and if you are using a speed bridge set, you will be provided with a disposable inserter in the speed bridge set itself. So